was heading up to the avid horizon and here's the storm that speaks. Let's go speak with it again. Wait, we have spoken with it before, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh... Have we? I uh, need the storm to have an opinion of me. Which I can only do with something that has a 33% chance of success. Well, not surprising, I failed. Oh, but now that I've done that, now it has an opinion of me. So, <laughs> let's sacrifice immaculate souls to appease the storm. Gained a tale of terror. All I did was make it uninterested in me. So I pissed it off, made it uninterested in me, and now we're back at square one. Okay. Well, that wasn't very productive. Just arriving at the home bureau at the Avid Horizon. My terror is surprisingly high. From various things that I fought along the way, I guess. Um, I have prospect for this place. Three literature. Also gained bonus experience. Woohoo! Oh, and hole? They repaired me? Thanks. I'll buy that bargain. I think there's some stuff we can do to reduce terror here. Market of truth. Probably listening to the preacher would do that. Yeah, pretty good amount too. I think about 10%. And in the home office, port report. Take T, reduced it a bit more. Oh, that's the thing that does it randomly, right? Or something like that. Okay, I think that's good enough. Watch the quiet sea. Terror goes up. Gained a savage secret. Made my way to the silent sea now. I took more literature with me so that I can finally, after I think literal in-game years, I can finally give the five literature to the Illuminated Archivist. Request another reading of the word. His emaciated breast is marked with what appears to be a timetable. The trains leave from Moloch Street between the hours of 12 and 12. This is on Lady Bones Road. He continues, reciting scraps of knowledge from Old London. He traces a scar running down the curve of his chest. And here, the address of a honey-wrecked detective is on the mend. He traces a honey vial that hangs above a rib. Such things we have pulled from the drifts by the gate. Messages left behind. Perhaps they came through. Perhaps they were abandoned. You have read a little of the word. Provide a moment of inspiration for the illuminated archivist. I'd rather not, but okay. Ask the illuminated archivist to come to Langley Hall. He's handsome, stubborn, and his memories are not as they should be. He might be Lord Langley's lost lover. Mm, so I wonder if we're going to have a lot of people that could potentially be the right one and got to just try them all. We're searching for Lord Langley's lost Swain? Wait, lost Swain? What does that mean? It means a young lover or suitor. Oh. Well, it says it's unlocked when I am not entirely super lipsarian, so I probably shouldn't even study more. I should just do this right away. The illuminated archivist purses his lips. Who? Where? Is that near Vale Garden? It sounds like a brothel. He raises a hand, preventing you from explaining. I don't have the time to listen to tall tales about made-up places. If you're not here to study, I have some meditation I could be getting on with. Hmm. The option's still there, though. 
I guess let's continue to study. <clears throat> Bring me a memory of old London, as she might be now, quiet and peaceful, with her most troublesome elements all fled to the sky. Tell me of the wolf stack and the Z, the smoke and the smog. The illuminated archivist pulls a handful of battered pages from his trouser pocket as you make ready to speak. He motions for you to go on, his expression rapacious. Hmm. Larceny enjoyed in spite. Metal tested on Watchmaker's Hill. Mysteries uncovered in Lady Bones Road. Vices enjoyed in Veil Garden. I feel like that one because they mentioned when I mentioned Langley Hall. Is it near Ve is it near Veil Garden? So let's talk more about Veil Garden. In Veil Garden, where dandies dream in honey and drown in wine. The illuminated archivist listens intently, a blissful smile spreading across his slim face. After a while, he closes his eyes, and only the occasional gasp or sly smile convinces you he's still listening. When you finish, his only feedback is to correct your tenses. A heart ripe and raw, he says. That shall be next. You've studied more of the word. Bring supplies, a crate of nostalgic crockery, and a caddy of dried tea. Ooh, I think I have all of that except the crockery. I don't bring that with me because it's not normally needed for anything. Wait, I have it? Oh. Okay, maybe I looted it from something or something. <clears throat> Should I ask them to come to Langley Hall again? <laughs> hmm? Nope, they still don't want to hear it. Continue your study of the word. A feast, not for the traitors nor the murderers, just us. Tea, as it is written, and scones, as it is written, and those little cakes that melt in your mouth, as it is written. The illuminated acolyte claps his hands with delight at your spread. Superlipsarians crowd into his little chamber to partake of your bounty. They speak to each other of plans to visit this or that boulevard, to attend this consort or seduce that tenor. The names that fall from their lips are but dim memories. No places bearing those titles exist on this side of the horizon. At last, when the dishes are cleared away and everyone has toasted the wandering bazaar, the archivist unbuttons his shirt to reveal writing upon his scone-filled stomach. Scraps of poetry on the wonders of old London, deep and dark and marvelous. So, uh, you want to come to Langley Hall? <sighs> Still don't want to hear it. Discuss your studies. You've advanced far in the archivist's book. What does it all mean? The illuminated archivist is all smiles as you discourse on the readings he has given you. Offer your opinion. You've listened and read and learned. What do you think? The illuminated archivist nods encouragingly. Before we go further, I'd know what you thought so far. So many acolytes fail at this hurdle, he says brightly. I mean, I do understand. It's text of London as was and will be. I don't get the will be part, but as was, yeah, in the past. I do understand. The illuminated archivist smiles. Yes, exactly so. He extends a hand dabbed black and green. The colors of old London smog. Your first lesson. What was lost? <clears throat> hmm. Nothing has changed. It's possible to be here and have lost nothing at all. 
The illuminated archivist grins and turns his ear to you. It's encircled with a tattoo of a vast, spired creature, carapist and tentacled. He winks. A messenger? Second lesson. What do you fear? The trials and travails of any old Londoner or the fears of any sky captain. Um, for the fears of any old Londoner, the masters, the netty men, the things in the marshes and the things in the Z, scandal in prison and the light of the sun. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. <clears throat> I mean, everybody was pretending to be a Londoner. So I'm going to say the trials and travails of any old Londoner. The illuminated archivist nods solemnly. Such is our lot, we who might live so long in the dark. All liberties come with a cost, but we have chosen our price. Third lesson. What gift do you bring me, I who have instructed you? It is tradition. Um... Well, I don't have any tea, so I'm going to give you an oozing sky horror. What finer gift? What better proof of life beyond old London in the gate? Entirely unimpressed. The illuminated archivist jumps to his feet and fetches a broom to bat at the creature. <laughs> you are spoiling everything, he hisses through clenched teeth. Eventually, the creature wanders away, though not before the archivist has ruined his finest Murgatroyd's tea towels, cleaning up the ooze. Okay, so there's a wrong one and a right one. I see. His eyes narrow, peeved. Final lesson. Where are you? I'm home. You speak of old London and its gaslit streets, of the false stars above and the Z waiting below. You speak of the masters and their bazaar of tomb colonists and rubbery men and the sprawling, teeming life of it all. At last, you realize the illuminated archivist is speaking with you, word for word, chasing them along the slim, severe lines of his body. He stops at a final tattoo of a gate in the nape of his neck. We are concluded. I have no further questions. What's this? Unlocked when you have casting doubt. Finish your education. Unlocked when you have casting doubt. Shit, I'm worried that I actually should have done that. <clears throat> if I cast doubt on everything, they were, I just reinforced everything they believed. Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. I should have tried to break it down, right? Reinforcing who they believe they are isn't going to help them come to Langley Hall, although I'm not entirely sure they are the right person. I'm not sure that they are Langley's lover, but, you know, going with the assumption that they are. Shit. Can I go back? Return to the flotilla? Ask them to come to Langley Hall? No, that didn't work. I can only do this when you do not have entirely super lipsarian. Uh, see, I don't want to become entirely super lipsarian because then I couldn't ask them. Shit, I really did do the wrong thing. I know there's a way to like clear out everything you've done. I don't know if it would include this though. Where can I, like, there's somewhere you can reset stuff. You will lose all of your embraced qualities, but your initiate status will not be changed. Oh, I can't return to the fl flotilla immediately. Shit. 
เออผมไม่แน่ใจว่าจะทำไงผมเพียงอยากจะตายเพื่อที่จะได้รับคำตอบที่ถูกต้องนี่เป็นราคาถูกต้องฉันจะทำนั้นเพื่อที่จะหาลังลีสลาสต์ลูกสาว And bringing a gay couple together, I'm gonna do it. I think my save will be from when I first came here, or maybe even. Actually, this isn't even a port. This is a platform. It might not even save at the platform at all. And even if it does, I think it'll only save when I first arrived to it, not when I left. I think. There's no reason to die, though, is there? I might as well just return to title screen and load, right? I think. If I mess this up, then you know, this could be really bad. Uh, I'm just gonna kill myself because I know what that does. Um. All right, that can't hurt me. Ramming into stuff would take forever. I guess I just go until I find an enemy. There we go. Managed to die. Resume from last auto save. Where are you gonna be from? Please be from a good place. I'm at the quiet sea. Not where I want it to be. What do I have in my inventory? Oh no. I don't have the cage to catch. That means I must have used. To wait. Wait, but I have six literature. But then where's my cage to catch? I used that, didn't I? Okay, hold on. We might be okay. <clears throat> No, we're not okay. How do I have so much literature on me? Fuck if I know. Anyway, shit. Okay, I looked it up online, and it turns out the save system for Sunless Sky actually gives you two saves. You can't access them in game, but if you go into the save folder, it includes your current auto save, the one I loaded that was too late, and then the one before that. So I just switched the one before with the one that's current, and well, it didn't really seem like the save before, to be honest. It seemed more like a couple saves back because I was back at London. Before I even went to the home bureau, like I'm pretty sure I must have saved when I docked at the home bureau. But anyway, wasn't too bad. Went from here back to the home bureau, and then over here. So now I can redo this. Might not have been required to do that. Maybe there was another way. Maybe I wasn't ruining it at all. But I really got the feeling I was, and I don't want to ruin that. So. Let's do this again. Speak with the illuminated archivist. Request. Well, let's do this once. <clears throat> Request another reading of the word. It's the five ministry approved literature. Continue my study of the word. I wonder which one I should go with. Maybe let me look if any mention like dancing. I think it would be Vale Garden. Lady Bones Road trains leave for hell and criminals and detectives hunt one another in the shadows. Uh, no, no, no. I think it must be Vale Garden if this makes a difference at all to them coming with me. Continue my study. I tried asking him all the while, and it didn't work. Yep. So, discuss your study. 
offer your opinion. So I need to make them doubt, right? I do not understand. It refers to places that cannot be and things that never were. The illuminated archivist frowns. He does not appreciate the insinuation. They're peeved. What was lost? Well, before I said nothing, and that didn't piss him off, so let me say so much. You are not as you were, no one is. Yes, it's working. The illuminated archivist rolls his eyes, revealing little tattoos of velocip velocipedes racing down a ga gaslit street. He was apparently less than thrilled by this response. He grimaces, his mouth a narrow line like the closing of a gate. Good. What do you fear? The fears of any sky captain, of cold in the night and fuel running low, of nightmares stalking the engine, of crew dying in droves and a final stop far from home. Could his lips get any thinner? Apparently so. He lets out a long sigh like the whistle of steam escaping a bust boiler. You're rather missing the point, he hisses. He shakes his head, frustrated by you. I'll give you that oozing sky horror, buddy. His face is blanched with fury as he considers your words. Final lesson, where are you? I am in the sky. You state your position, your time in the wilderness, your life as a skyfarer, the whistle of your engine, the sound of the horn and the thunder of your wheels through the horizon. You speak of New Winchester and New London and the life you lead here. The illuminated archivist lets out a moan of anguish. <laughs> the illuminated archivist is all smiles as you discourse on the readings he has given you. Really? Smiles? Unlocked when casting doubt is, you're probing his beliefs. Um. Hmm. I can finish. Hmm. You're probing his. I'm not. I don't quite understand, but uh, let's try this one. The Illuminated Archivist regards you balefully. I... I mean, you've read all I have to show, so I suppose in that sense you've finished, but do you take me for an idiot? He regards your expression and decides not to wait for a response. Of course we all know this is so much make-believe. We've been trapped out here for years, no way back. We glean what we can from our scavenging and play out our lives as if we never had come here. He smiles sadly. I'm sure you meant well, but this is the only real lesson I have to teach. You have denied the word, though you understood its lesson. Gained two moments of inspiration and a condemned experiment, that's good, but... But... You wanna, uh... Come to Langley Hall? Yes, they're gonna come with me! Right? I think? The illuminated act like glowers at you. And you thought I was mad. He traces a pattern under his right collarbone. A collision, or perhaps a collusion of suns. Finally, he speaks again. All right. I may as well see what has gotten you so excited that I... that you believe this rot. If only so I can learn how I failed you as a teacher. He gathers his things and gets ready to board your locomotive. Yes! Unless that turns out to not be the right person, in which case, damn awkward. Thank God. Ah, <sighs> Silent Mystic, do you wanna you wanna speak to me? Ask her for a secret of the Avatar Horizon. You've believed so much to learn the ways of the gate. The silent mystic laughs and cups your jaw in her hands. Shall I lie to you? 
She whirls you around on the wheel, her white robes flying like mist rising from the sea. Let's see, let's see. So many lies told here. Can't you feel a weight of them? The Traveler will never return. Albion was first. You will go home. Now tell me which was true. She laughs and whirls you away. I think that's all I wanted. Well, hmm. Then again, now that I'm sort of joined with the Super Lipsarians, maybe I should, like, go through once. Let's see if I can even remember which one is which. Which one appeases which group. Cozy Birth? Nope, that's the sanctif Sanctified. Sing? Of the places you left behind? That sounds like Super Lipsarians. Yes. Give a confession. An error of yearning. Super Lipsarians, yes. Will you do the confession you've heard? Mm. Uh, Donna Mask? Yes, Super Lipsarians. Dying at the feast with traditional decorum. Yes, also Super Lipsarians. Attend a last rite. As the other cultists are departing, your friends among the Super Lipsarians bid you join them. They promise a reward. Gained a caddy of dried tea. You are not spoken to by the Super Lipsarians. You have not been introduced. How do I get introduced? Probably if I pleased my teacher, they would have introduced me. <laughs> You're brought to a warm underdeck, which might once have been a hold. A fire roars in the hearth, and a ceiling is painted with false stars. The illuminated archivist smiles to greet you and pours you tea, which you are instructed to serve to the silent mystic. I have been pleased by the observances of this cult, she says to you. Perhaps there's something in it. Now that the king is gone, we must find a means to go on, mustn't we? She sighs and passes the cup back. This is yours. Go back to the stars, Captain. Seek the truth. Okay, I think I'm good. I did the most important thing. I'm very glad that I loaded that save game because I worry that I might have ruined it forever if I didn't. Decided to come to the Clockwork Sun because we have some business here. We have one quest. Uh, scavenging with the Dawn Rats. Do I want to send crew to scavenge for anything? No, I don't want to risk them. I don't want to risk my crew at all. Poor report. Azimuth. I think we need to speak to the person here. Yeah, the Dazzled Sequencer. They wanted us to deliver some stuff to Brabazon, and we did. You successfully delivered the manuals to Brabazon. No doubt transforming 600 lives for the better. Now they just need some bow ties. The Sequencer clasps his hands together. I can just imagine their smiles, he says. And oh, their wide, grateful eyes. And their misshapen bow ties crying out for correction. He sends his orderlies to fetch your payment. There's a glint in his eye. I knew I was right about you. The sequence brought us together for a reason. We should send another package. Another crate is dropped at the sequencer's feet by his shuffling orderlies. Here we have a collection of antique but very much functional pistols, he says brightly. I was thinking we could send them to the London Refuge for the lamentably parentless. I'm sure the little mites will enjoy the thrill of the hunt. Uh, uh maybe not. Suggest an alternative gift. Maybe send them food or medicine or, you know, just some money. 
It says he's unlikely to change his mind again after this. So I have like one chance to influence this. <clears throat> Prioritize your own personal gain. What orphans really want is untraceable gold ingots. <laughs> Suggest an alternative gift. Only a 48% chance. <sighs> a guileless smile. Oh, I'm sure they can get those sorts of things from elsewhere. He wraps his knuckles on the box of pistols. This is what they're lacking. Deliver your package to an orphanage in London. Deliver pistols to an orphanage. Yeah, all right. Sure. Let's do the whole Sun Shattered Dome thing. Got a bad patch, 100% chance of success, so I'll take it. I'm not going to read this because I think we've done them all. Roll of Thirsty Bombazine. Another bad patch. Partial success. Okay, we're going to save our crew members. Another bad patch. Pick your way through the glass congregation. 80% chance. Success. Otherworldly artifact. Uh, your suit has been damaged beyond repair. It falls off you in tatters. We should leave... Oh, shit. I I accidentally went too far, actually, because I was just skipping through everything. I can't return to safety. Uh, your suit hangs in rags. Your crew are panicking. Their suits are in similarly lamentable state. You push them too far. Whoops. Well, I lost a crew member. Light floods you in a sickening sense of peace that must be fought with every fiber. Something glass cracks inside your head. <laughs> A tumult, a stampede. Your crew run, shoving in their haste. Someone falls. It's only when you arrive back to Azimuth and conduct a head count that you realize one of your crew was left behind. In the dome beyond, you hear a familiar voice raised in rapturous song. Sorry. Is there anything else to do here? What's in the glass house again? Oh, right, the prisoners. Speak with the prisoners, 38% chance of success. Failure. Have I failed that every time? Tripus Core Vault. Yeah, how about the similarly dazzled steward? Anything new happening with you? Nope. Still just being happy. Okay, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think I'm going to head back to London, maybe deliver some crates of weapons to an orphanage, <laughs> we'll see what happens with that, hopefully there's an alternative resolution to that quest, and then I think we're going to leave Albion, I don't think there's that much more here to do really. I'll check my quest log, but yeah, I think we're probably going to leave after that. <laughs>